Tinubu to demolish 200 houses in Abuja so as to create space for his planned presidential fleet he want to acquire. Welcome to today's news. Guys, please, before going to this news, kindly do me a favor by giving this video a thumbs up and share it in all the platform you belong. Guys, I said it a couple of days ago that the worst thing that can happen to any nation, any organization, is to have a hardened leader, a compassionless leader. Guys, I read on Peter B uh, Twitter handle today. Now, Tinubu has planned to bring down 200 houses in Abuja because he wants to acquire more presidential fleet. You see, sometimes a eh, prophecy is not everything. You don't need a prophet or a native doctor to tell you, give you certain messages to predict future of an individual to you. Sometimes, with the artist there, sometimes you can predict them. I watched a video last year before election when I saw Tinubu fleet in the uh, in Tinubu's convoy in Lagos. I said, what? His convoy was even more than that of a president. I said, this guy is not yet a president. What will not happen when he becomes president? Guys, now that Nigerians are suffering, we are currently the poor, uh, the capital, the world capital of poverty in the whole world. All right. In this season, that some president, like the president of Argentina, most of them are, they are reducing presidential fleet. Guess what? Pablo Escobar, aka Tinubu, who didn't win an election, who, who, who rigged his way to power, the drug baron. Guess what? He want to use borrowed money to expand to get more presidential fleet, guys. As a result of that cost space, he want to break down 200 houses. You see how difficult you see the danger these guys have caused to Nigeria. The irreparable damages they are good they've caused to Nigeria. It will take Nigeria in not 200 years to come out of this quagmire. When Nigerians are, can, can barely feed, you want to bring out 200 houses of humans. Jesus Christ. Guys, let me not talk too much. I want to read the news for you, please. I want, join me. Let's read it together on the screen now. From Peter B himself. Let's read it together. But please do me a favor. This kind of news we need to spread. Let me share this video. Not the platform you belong now. And give it a thumbs up right now. God bless you. But the recent report of the planned demolition of about 200 houses in the Nuwalege community in Abuja to make way for the presidential fleet. I am a gay paint that we are embarking on, on such an inconsiderate project at this critical time when the country is going through untold hardship. I would like to reiterate that at this time, our preoccupation should be how to do away with the presidential fleet or reduce it to minimum, to cut costs and save up for more critical projects to help the people instead of demolishing people's homes. A country where the World Bank announced that over 100 million citizens being pushed into poverty should not at this time be sending hundreds of people into homelessness to accommodate the presidential fleet of luxurious aircraft. We need to focus instead on how to lessen the pain and suffering of poor people. We cannot continue to encourage those who have kept us suffering, those who have kept us suffering to enjoy a luxurious lifestyle far beyond our legitimate means. A democratically elected people-oriented government must always care for the people above itself. Guys, you see what we are talking about? Isn't it heartlessness? Isn't this the act of wickedness? Do you think if Pablo Escobar, Tif Tinubu has gotten there legally, he has he, 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 he really won his way to power? He really won, got there by the citizen? Do you think it would have been this heartless to the citizen, to the masses? Do you really think so? You want to break that 200 houses belonging to Nigerians because of new aircraft they want to acquire. When, when, when there is no plan, that there is no plan for we to pay the debt we are owing. The World Bank said, 
the the the, the according to what you just read in peter obis a uh, twitter handle the world bank said oh, over 100 million nigerians are being pushed into poverty where a uh, companies organizations are leaving nigeria a mass massive uh, you know companies that have been in nigeria for like 50 years to 17 years they are exiting nigeria why because of the harsh economy what a scientific government should be thinking about is how to build the country is how to revive the economy no but what to put to put the country more in debt in poverty all those who brought us who haven't he bring it in Ubo, into power he causing us this it will not be well with them. It not go better for now. It not go better for our children. All of them will get hand. I know I use English check us now. Facebook not go grab. It not go better for now. If now build house, now not go sleep for that house. Now go finish the house. Now build. Now go finish with the blood of our son, our firstborn. The the blood of our last born. I now go tell lady. Una kote finish ya. It no go better for it for now. It no go better for na. Pay anagoni. No go la la depart from una lineage. Never.